Today's assignment, photograph the elusive Pokemon. How do you do it? You're gonna be fast. You need a keen eye, the best equipment, and lightning quick reflexes. No, you don't. All you need is Pokemon Snap. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and I come to you today with some very exciting news. Actually news that you probably already heard about, but I just wanted to talk about it. It is the new Pokemon Snap game that is coming out, uh, soon. <laughs> Before I say anything else at all, I just want to watch this trailer with you guys, because <laughs> it, it makes me feel some shit, alright? So, check it out. Snap. Oh my god. It's gorgeous. Oh, it does say game footage, not final. So it is actual game footage. My god. 1080p Pikachu? Moving up from the, the 480p that we had back in the day? There are islands where Pokemon live. And you can visit them all! It's Zangoose! Oh my god! I love Zangoose. I saw Driplim. I saw Sharpedo. I love Sharpedo! Emoga, Dodrio. Teleporting machine thing. Score Bunny. Oh, look at Squirtle. He's so happy. Oh my god. That is so amazing. It looks gorgeous. Magikarp just died. <laughs> wow, dude. I love it. Oh, please can I have it now? No you can't, it's under construction. Ugh, but I want it now. Jesus, gotta snap them all. Ain't that right, Thanos? You should have gone for the head. It just feels like the trailer is going to be seared into my brain for the longest time to come. There's so many Pokemon in it that probably nobody even noticed, you know what I mean? <laughs> we had Buffalant, Vivalon, Swanna, Pelipper, Wailord, Crabrawler, Pikachu, Zangoose, Driplim, Lapras, Primarina, Sharpedo, Amolga, Dodrio, Grookey, Pichu, Scorbunny, Squirtle, Kyukyu, Mewkyu, Mantike, Mantine, Blastoise, Magikarp, Pidgeot, Torterra, Bidoof, Wurmple, Hoot Hoot, and at the end, Bell Awesome. It seems like there are a lot of water Pokemon on this list, so I'm wondering if that's just like the first course that they're working on with all of these water Pokemon. And if this is just Pokemon for one course, I mean, <laughs> I think I did see something that looked a little bit different, kind of like the river level in the original Pokemon Snap. Oh god, I'm just so excited, you guys. So crazy good. It's going to be awesome! The press release statement says that this game will take trainers on an adventure to unknown islands overflowing with natural sites such as jungles and beaches where they can research various Pokemon in their natural habitats. So it sounds to me like the environments will be brand new for the franchise and maybe take place in entirely new regions that we haven't explored yet, or at least parts of regions that we hadn't explored, or you know, in a new perspective that we haven't yet explored them with. Good lord, I'm just... <laughs> I'm overhyped, dude. My god. I cannot wait to get my hands on this. For real. My Switch kindly alerted me through the Announcements tab, and I don't think I've ever clicked an announcement faster. <laughs> I had to do a double take. I'm like, is this, is this real life? And sure enough, it showed me a fantastic looking trailer, which is not gameplay footage. And it also said that a new Pokemon Snap is coming soon. Both of those statements were extremely literal. The game is actually called New Pokemon Snap, which I don't know if it's the best name, but it's okay. In addition to that, the release date hasn't been revealed, with Pokemon Company CEO Tsunikazu Ishihara simply saying that it will simply be coming soon. Well, that doesn't narrow things down very much, does it? You mean soon on a geologic scale? Because <laughs> that's what 20 years was. I'm pretty sure that this is the reason the Switch was put into my hands. New Pokemon Snap will be a Nintendo Switch exclusive game 
and will probably quickly overtake Animal Crossing as my most played game. The original Pokemon Snap had just under an hour's worth of actual content, but I found myself rolling down those tracks in those different courses time and time and time again, just trying to snag a picture that would squeeze just a few more points from Professor Oak. That dude is such a hard ass. I'm not actually sure if judging will be part of this new Pokemon Snap, but I certainly hope that it will. I don't know if we need to call Professor Oak out of retirement. I mean, his cousin Samson Oak is hanging out in the Alola region. Yeah, you almost forgot about him, didn't you? There are some ocean shots, so who knows where this game is actually set. From the opening scene, it looks like you're in a teleporter of sorts, so who knows, you could actually be going to multiple regions in this game. At least that's what I hope. But anyways, regarding the judging, there are tons of characters that would be perfectly fit to judge my photos. And that was one of the things that really drew me into the original Pokemon Snap in such a big way. Like I say in every video, I really like watching numbers go up. What we do know is that the player is tasked with creating a Pokemon photo dex. If it's a simple matter of getting a picture and moving on, then I'll be sorely disappointed. But that seems a bit too simple for a franchise that's been hibernating for two decades. I'm sure there are plenty of tricks up the sleeves of new Pokemon Snap that have yet to be unveiled. We don't have a ton of information about this new title, but there is a bit that we can glean simply from watching the trailer. It will be on rails, similar to the original title and it will also feature Pokemon from all eight generations. I can practically guarantee that seeing every last Pokemon included in this game is just a pipe dream. I mean, there are 802 of the little buggers now, but it is nice to have some representation in the Snap franchise for people who aren't just Gen 1ers. I truly hope that the game is extremely expansive, and from the trailer we're shown, it seems to be, but I won't get my hopes up just yet until we see some actual gameplay footage. That's a lie, actually. My hopes are sky high. I just hope that they won't be dashed to the ground like they were when Pokemon Sword and Shield held some of my favorites for ransom behind a DLC paywall. <sighs> but that's a story for another video. While the original Pokemon Snap was developed by HAL Laboratories, the mantle has been taken up this time around by Bandai Namco. Kind of an interesting parallel since the original Smash Brothers was also by HAL, and Bandai Namco took that over for the release of Ultimate. I don't hesitate to say that I have full faith that the franchise is in good hands, but how good do those hands actually have to be? How can one game possibly stack up to the anticipation that comes from 20 years of waiting? God, just look at Duke Nukem Forever. The truth is, I'm an old man now. I have kids of my own, whose only real attachment to Pokemon is the attachment that I have to Pokemon. They don't even know who Squirtle is. I feel like I've failed in my duties as a parent. But new Pokemon Snap might just be my chance for redemption. Regardless of how amazing or disappointing the game is, I'll still relish the chance to relive part of my childhood through their eyes. I hate to wax poetic about a game that we hardly know anything about, but it's a hard thing to avoid when it comes to a franchise that is so near and dear to me. I was 12 years old in 1999, and Pokemon Snap showed up at the perfect time in my life to attach itself to the nostalgic part of my brain, and it has just never let go. While I definitely enjoy a rousing Pokemon battle, there's something soothing about kicking back and just taking pictures without the pressure of winning or losing. Sometimes you want a game that can just take your mind off of whatever's going on in your life without worrying about how you're actually performing in the game, and Pokemon Snap is that game. Animal Crossing has its place alongside it, but considering I was a teenager by the time it actually came to the GameCube, my attachment to Pokemon is much stronger. I will be waiting for updates of new Pokemon Snap with bated breath, and I certainly hope that this video was able to not just regurgitate the little bit of information that we've been given like so many other channels, but also to explain why exactly people are so excited about this release. I always proceed with caution towards a new game release, but this is the most excited that I think I've ever been <laughs> about a video game release. I am beyond stoked for new Pokemon Snap.
Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? Are you headed in with the same trepidation? Do let me know in the comments. I hope that you also like and or subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Check out the links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. Big shout out to my beautiful, beautiful patrons. Mr. Weasel, Lady Nix, Nico the Legend, Crimson Albedo, Damon Darkstar, Radimus Sisko, and Dot Nathan for helping me live the dream. I'm definitely letting that Patreon money stack up just a little bit so I can get a capture card and oh my god when that happens I will be so eager to share my Pokemon adventures with you guys. Oh, we've been doing a lot of bundle videos recently but I just figured that I'd do something a little bit different. Something that I'm really really excited about. I don't generally do news updates and the like but for Pokemon I will always make an exception. So thank you guys for listening along with me. I hope that you did enjoy the video. I will see you in the next bundle banter. I believe it's going to be the uh, Playism Humble Bundle. So check that out if you enjoy weird games from Japan or that feel like they're from Japan. But anyways, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, friends. Keep yourself safe out there and until then, bye-bye.